All right, today we're in Houston Abbey, the one home of Lord Byron. He stayed here for a bit. I'll show you. So we're going to walk around here today, have a look at Lord Byron's house. There's an ancient cedar tree, which is pretty nice. Look at that. Oh, it's so amazing. So there's a lot of lakes and uh, gardens here. So we're going to have a look around. So this is the back of the house, which in itself is quite ornate. Got little gardens here. I mean, it's impressive. God, it's big. And there's a lot of people out today because it's uh, Easter week. I'm off this week, so we just had to come and check it out. And there's, it's such it's nice weather today. It's not as cold as it's been. And uh, there's a lot of people out with their kids playing. It's really nice. It's a big park. Very nice. We're going to go look at these little uh, flowers over here. So let's have a look at this. Look at that. This is like these kind of little gardens are dotted all through the, uh, through the uh, land here. Just so pretty. I mean, so well made. Look at the grass. It's like so nice. Well maintained. Here's another one. And I'll try to get close up on some of the uh, artwork on the buildings because it's quite impressive. It's just, God, look at the windows on there. Here, we'll go over here. And, uh, I'll try to zoom in on these little um, these little sculptures up here. Look at that. And just the detail. And this was originally a uh, here. I'll zoom you back out. This uh, was originally. It's called Newstead Abbey. It was originally uh, Augustinian. Priory, although I know they call it an abbey now, it was never an abbey, it was a priory. And the monks lived here for a while, and they uh, then they uh, I don't know if they sold it off or then it started to become private homes. And it was originally erected in 1170, and then over the years, I think they revamped it in the 13th. In the 1600s, and obviously since then, but it became, I think, Lord Byron moved in in the uh, 1800s. Yeah, and um, or I don't know, 1803, I think, is when he kind of started to find interest in the house and decided to move him and his mother in. So, if you don't know who Lord Byron is, he was a famous poet. Um, and I suggest you Google him because uh, he's quite <laughs> he had quite an interesting life. Now we're going to enter the gardens and see uh, what we can see. All the beautiful landscaping and. It's just, this is amazing. I've never been here. And it's not really that far from a house. So that was a missed opportunity up to this point. But here I am now. I'm just, I'm just walking along, showing you guys what I'm seeing. And it's just beautiful. Here. It's just, it's a sunny day. Uh, everything's starting to bloom. Even though we had snow the other day. And we're gonna go here and go to the here we go we're going here let's go in okay you want to go in you ready all right here we go
have to keep it down. Because there's people. I don't want to take their picture. They may not want to be on YouTube. So we just came through that tunnel. We'll go over this way. Oh, look, this is pretty. Wow. Look at this. This is really nice. Little mud duck over there. Some ducks. This is pretty. Can you imagine this is your house? Like, I'm just going to go to the duck pond and visit my ducks. So we're going to go check those out. Oh, here we go. Here's one of them. Wow. I don't know if there's any information on it. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Pam, yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be. Oh yeah, no, the inscriptions. It's so old, this piece, that there's, the inscriptions are gone off of it. So we don't, we think it's Pan. We're not sure. Oh no, it looks like a woman. So it can't be Pan. Goat women. All right, you ready to go? Here's the base of it. Look how old that is. There's no writing on it anyway. Yeah. Or she's the grape god. I don't know. Right. So we're gonna go walk over to this next one. This is Pan. Okay. So he's got his little flute. He don't. You see. He's got his uh, little uh, flutes over here. His little. It's not really picking up. But he looks a bit sinister, if you ask me. And this is the base. Again, it's very old. <clears throat> no information on it. It must. They just must be. Just you know, like a little statue. Well, it's not little. <laughs> He's quite big. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Just in the, I mean, it's just, I, I, I'm just overwhelmed by how beautiful this place is. This is a, uh, go on, Dave, let's see you get lost in a maze. Just so you can get an idea of what it looks like to go through the maze. I mean, I'll go through it too, but I just want to see Dave get lost. <laughs> see if he can get back out. <laughs> I'd have to get a helicopter to lift him out. I can't find his way out. <laughs> oh, these children are loud. I'm really excited because they're out playing in the open. It looks like a little wet, a little wishing well. There's Dave looking. Dave's going to try to get some money out of it. <laughs> he said he'd not like the piggy bank. <laughs> so, and this is the other part of the house. I mean, this is all connected. So, this is kind of like the side of the house. Through this, I mean, can you imagine, you're, here's your room, and you're just looking out on the Spanish garden today. Don't get too close, Dave. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how fast they can run, but I ain't willing to find out. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Hopefully he'll do his little feathers. He's cleaning his little feathers right now. Oh, oh look. Here we go, Dave, 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 don't do that. <laughs> he'll do it. Give him a he's cleaning, he's preening. He's preening, look at him. He's gonna do it. I'll stand here all day waiting for him to do that. Look at that beautiful creature. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. That's his warning call. Back off. That's his warning call. Get the hell out of here. Dave. Dave wants to die by peacock today. Clearly. Um, now he's talking to him. I don't think the peacock understands Scottish. This here is um, where Lord Byron's dog Botswain, a, Newfound a Newfoundland, was buried. He's got quite an extensive um, monument. Hey, I get it. You know, I've lost pets. If I had the money, I'd build a monument to all my pets. It's, it's behind the gate right now because it's like they're doing repairs on it. So, yep, old Botswain, he got a good old statue. He got a good old memorial. Byron even wrote his own poem. Yes, Lord Byron even wrote a poem about it. So, there you go. Pretty cool. Here's Philip James Bailey. Get a good little view of him. Go over here and the man himself. Oh wow, he was young. Lord Byron. Yeah, pretty handsome chap, according to that statue. Then we have William and Mary Howitt. William and Mary Howitt. H. Lawrence here. Look at him. Wow. All the greats. Oh, so well manicured. Dave, can you do this in our garden? Eh? Can we have this in our garden? What? All these little, like, yeah. mazy box bush. What are they called? Yeah. What are the little bushes called? Those little hedges. Yeah, little hedges. Yeah. What are they called? Box something, isn't it? Yeah. Box heads, okay. So that's that's this is what our garden's gonna look like this summer. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about the size of our garden, that little square right there. Japanese garden, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, look what I found in the Japanese garden. A damn gnome. How'd he get here? Although it is a beautiful area he's standing under. Ooh. Ooh. 
Dave. Yeah, you're playing now, but then when you fall in. See if y'all can see that statue there? Barely see it. That's not a person, that's a statue. It's pretty cool though. It does look like a, a swamp, yeah. This is the front of Lord Byron's house. We started at the back, and now this is the front. Look at these faces and the door. Just find the little details in this building. Oh, we get close to this glass. Let's see that. Let's get close. Let's get a really good look at this stained glass. Here's a British tradition of getting ice cream. Thank you, sir. 99 Flake. Oh, yeah. What did you get, Dave? I got a tub, regular tub. And because some joke, right? I don't know, I'll just give you a piece of cream. Because someone had five packs. How good is that? Mm. You know it's the end of the day when you get an ice cream.